something said, get off the couch. I remember getting up, flinging back the blankets. <laughs> joy and welcome to my youtube channel i am an actress writer and founder of blue room productions i post vlogs behind the scenes commentary on my projects and my films but before this video was over make sure you hit the subscribe button below to stay up to date so in today's vlog i wanted to talk to you about how i went to london in paris in a previous episode i shared with you how i quit my job and i took a 10-day trip with my brother to europe so I wanted to go a little bit more into details about what that trip felt like. So I remember when I was sitting at my desk, I was still working my nine to five at that time, and I was scrolling through looking at plane tickets to go to Europe. I had already decided that I was gonna quit my job, but I was on the phone with my friend and she was encouraging me to buy my ticket. Crystal, buy your ticket, just do it, do it. I can still hear her voice to this day telling me, Crystal, just do it. And I feel like that's been the theme so far of my life is you just have to do it. Scared or not, you just have to go after the things that you want. When you wanna make a change, there's so many things within you that are telling you don't do it, it's stupid, it's, it's, it's too much of a risk. I was so ready to just get out there and go. So I studied French on and off my entire life. I studied in high school, in college, and while I was living in New York City, I would take French classes online and in person. And there was this website that I used to use called Conversation Exchange. <laughs> Just sweet to me. In my Francais, c'est très mal. J'ai besoin de plus pratique. I am so nervous. I, I get so nervous when I speak French. I really, really do. I felt like a wound up toy. You know, I was so wound up because the moment I touched Paris, I was done. I was out there. I was in those streets. <laughs> And it honestly felt like a dream, walking along the Sienne and seeing the Eiffel Tower and eating the food. It just felt like another world. The food tasted different. I didn't realize how much junk the U.S. puts in their food until I went outside of the country. The things that America puts in their food is illegal in other places of the world. So I remember eating eggs and I'm like, eggs are orange? <laughs> I don't know if that's naive or what, but I've always saw eggs as yellow. Eating so much crepe, crepe or crepe. And I felt beautiful. And yes, you should feel beautiful all the time, but it's something about going to another place, to another country, and you just feel really sexy. The things that I was going through, the problems that I had, it made them so small because I saw how big this world was and I didn't feel so alone. Moving to New York City was definitely a leap for me because I decided to go after my dreams. It was really a leap of faith. But visiting Europe was another leap of faith because I decided to go after my joy. I think it's a beautiful thing to step outside of your comfort zone and really experience the world for yourself. Traveling helps expand your perspective. It helps you to challenge your beliefs and your way of living. So I just remember walking along the Sienne, walking to the Louvre and walking to these different monumental places and just being in so much awe of the world. So happy that I had this experience. So happy that I'm really seeing the world for what it is, which is this big, beautiful, gigantic playground. I found something outside of acting, outside of filmmaking, that really brought me pure joy, that really made me feel so happy. I really felt one within myself because I was experiencing this world that was created for me to explore. Traveling really is my happy place. It really is. To get from Paris to London, we actually took the Eurostar, and that wasn't a very far ride. All the pastures, to see that landscaping, it was like the country in a way. It was gorgeous, breathtaking, remarkable, exotic, refreshing. Freedom, it was real freedom. So when I was in London, I remember walking through the park across the street from Westminster Palace and feeling like I was in Central Park. There were so many different parts of London that felt like New York City to me. 
So me and my brother were staying at this Airbnb in Shoreditch and the people that we were staying with, it was two of them, they were super cool people. They were actually both artists and one of them actually lives here in the States and we were able to hang out. So I have a funny yet traumatic story. <laughs> so I remember we were eating and we saw a mouse and they didn't even know they had a mouse. So we thought we chased it out of the balcony, out of the, out of the house, the apartment, the flat. <laughs> I don't do any kind of mouse, rats, nothing. Living in New York City, hmm, yeah. You, the rats are literally the size of like possums. They're gigantic, they eat humans. <laughs> they have them in London too, trust me. I remember laying on the couch and something said, get up. I got up and I flung the blanket back and the mouse popped up like it was scared, like the mouse shrieked and it ran into the kitchen. The mouse was in the couch with me. <sighs> what if it crawled up my leg or something? Oh my gosh. But it was this little mouse, this little, the landlord was super apologetic. He even gave us a partial refund for the inconvenience. But I remember screaming so loud. <laughs> that was crazy. I was really intrigued by the doors in London. They have these huge door knockers on the doors. I wanted to take it off and put it around my neck or something because those doors were massive. And it... <laughs> So we went to the late Princess Diana's home and it's open to the public where you can ride your bikes, walk, run, exercise. So me and my brother rode our bikes throughout that whole entire area. I think that was her front yard, but it was gigantic. It was really beautiful though. It was dope, bruv. It was dope. I did have fish and chips. I wasn't a huge fan because it wasn't really seasoned. I like my salt. <laughs> sea salt. At that. So London was this really cool and dope city. It reminded me so much of New York. It just, it was just different. the English accent I think it is very sexy <laughs> this trip made me really curious about black life in other parts of the world I would see black people everywhere and I just wanted to talk to them I wanted to gauge their experiences and understand what their life is like compared to what my life is like here in the States so I'm really happy that we have content that's now talking about that Traveling helps to stretch your perspective and it forces you to challenge your beliefs and your thought system. When you live in one place your entire life and you never step outside of that box or you surround yourself with the same type of people every single day, you tend to think that your way of doing, your way of behaving, and your way of thinking is the only way. It's the right way. And that's honestly not the case. Some people might disagree, but I feel more evolved as a person personally because I've been to other parts of the world. I see the way other people live and you see what people truly value and the foundations that they live their life on and how, the, and how that shapes their day to day. It makes you question the way you think. It really does make you question your own beliefs. Every single time I've gone somewhere and I've come back home, I've always had the chance to self-reflect. I love to self-reflect. I love to look on my life and see how can I get better? How can I grow? How can I stretch? And traveling has played a key part in that process. We all want the same things in life. Freedom, love, respect, acknowledgement, to give and to receive, 
but there's so many different ways to go about getting those things. And traveling has helped me to expand my mind on how I wanna go about getting those things for my life. I love taking Polaroid pictures and I have a Polaroid camera that I use every single time I go on a trip because a Polaroid is really a hardcore memory, proof of me going and making my mark in this place. I actually have a photo album and it's filled with so many memories of my experiences, but I was able to go down memory lane and it has made me feel so grateful and so thankful for the things that I have seen, the people that I have met, the places that I've been, the foods that I've eaten, the languages that I have heard and learned. It's made me feel super thankful because I've been able to step outside of my comfort zone and do the things that some people wish that they could do. And the thing is, you can, you can travel, but because we're so wrapped up in what we can't do, we just get stuck. We tell ourselves we can't do something and then we don't do it. And then everything in our life reflects that belief. So you really just have to change your mind and change what you think about your abilities, how you can go about moving in this world. It's a big world out there. Go play. So I went to Paris in 2016, and then I went again last year, right before the first shutdown. And I was able to actually see my friends. I don't like doing touristy stuff. I love doing what locals do, but I just had a great time going through Paris and just going to different places that I didn't go the first time. I went to this really cool brunch spot that is so Instagrammable. Every corner in that restaurant is made to take a picture. I went to this really cool greenhouse. I just love greenhouses. And I just explored, shopped, had fun, you know, met up with my friends, had drinks, and just really enjoyed myself. And I just can't wait to get back on that plane and go to my next adventure. Anything else I wanna say? Nope. Video's over.